Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Sitang Mu. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has emphasized that development and social justice should reach all sections of society without any differences and those who were victimized for generations should be made partners of development. He was speaking after dedicating to the nation the 216 feet tall Statue of Equality at Muchindal near Shamshabad in Hyderabad last evening. The Statue of Equality commemorates the 11th century Bhakti saint Ramanujacharya who promoted the idea of equality in all aspects of living including faith, caste and creed. The Prime Minister dedicated the unique statue by unveiling a plaque as part of the Sahasrapti celebrations of Bhakti saint Sri Ramanujacharya. The statue is made of five metals, gold, silver, copper, brass and zinc. This is one of the tallest metallic statues in sitting position in the world. The Prime Minister said there is no need to go away from the core value of reforms while keeping them intact, one can take reform path. He said life of Ram Sri Ramanujacharya proves the same. He further said the Statue of Equality will inspire the future generations with these ideals and also strengthen the Indian philosophy. Recalling that equality champions like Dr. B. R. Ambedkar also supported the views of Sri Ramanujacharya on equality, Prime Minister Modi highlighted that his government's vision is for Sabka Sat, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas or Sabka Prayas. Union Minister for Law and Justice Kiran Rijiju has said that the union budget 2022 to 23 will provide critical support for development in infrastructure, health and education besides others. After addressing BJP workers on the union budget, the union minister yesterday informed media during a press briefing at Shillong that there is a huge jump in funds allocation for the entire northeastern region from 68,000 crore rupees to 76,000 crore rupees. He maintained that such allocation of funds has not happened in so many decades for the development of infrastructure and other critical sectors. He added that it is now up to the chief ministers of the eight states of the region to utilize the funds wisely. The union minister also stated that under the PM's development initiative for Northeast, additional 1,500 crore rupees have been allocated to utilize in other sectors that are not covered by any schemes or policies of the union government. He further urged the state governments of the Northeast to ensure that all schemes and programs of the government are implemented effectively. Maintaining that peace and development go hand in hand, he stated that insurgency has decreased in the Northeast after Prime Minister Narendra Modi came to power. Rijiju added that efforts are on to bring everlasting peace in the region as all stakeholders are working in close coordination. The National Medical Commission NMC has issued guidelines for determination of fees and all other charges in respect of 50% of the seats in private medical institutions and deemed to be universities governed under NMC Act 2019. In an office memorandum, the Commission said, after extensive consultations, it has been decided that the fee of the 50% seats in private medical colleges and deemed universities should be at par with the fee in the government medical colleges of that particular state and union territory. The NMC said the benefit of the free structure would be first made available to those candidates who have availed government quota seats but limited to the extent of 50% of total sanctioned strength of the medical college or deemed university. It said, however, if the government quota seats are less than 50% of total sanctioned seats, the remaining candidates would avail benefit of fee equivalent to the government medical college fee based purely on the merit. The order comes as a relief for students from economically backward sections who cannot pursue MBBS even after securing better scores in the eligibility test. As the number of COVID-19 cases are rising fast in several parts of the country, we appeal to our listeners to be vigilant and get fully vaccinated and help others, including children between 15 and 18 years to get vaccinated. With the new Omicron variant of coronavirus co causing concern, please continue to follow these three simple steps to stay safe. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1800-345-0019. With this, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.